Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is your extra extra read all about it for December 15th, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah, extra, extra, read all about it, right? For December 15th, 2020, right? Today is actually, uh, you know, it's being, this video is being done a day before, so it's like new moon right now. So maybe we'll get some uh, residual energy. I don't know. I don't know how that works, you know. But let's go ahead and get started and find out, you know. Let's find out what the involvement is here starting out. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know how that part works, but, you know. Sounded cool, right, for the moment. <laughs> All right. Let's see what kind of involvement is going on here. Let's see what we got. Gosh, man. What do we have going on here for the collective, right? Involvement out there, anybody who's involved. What's going on for some of some people out there? <clears throat> Ooh. Ah, oh, that's just should be good, right? Oh, that one didn't fall out. Oh, that one did. Okay, let's so let's see. Let's see, you guys. Oh my gosh, I see something in here that I don't, didn't want to see, but. <sighs> All right, listen up. <laughs> All right, so we have um, somebody here may enjoy, you know, looking up, you know, ancient civilizations and stuff. Somebody might be into that out there. Maybe watch documentaries on that kind of stuff. Ancient civilizations. Somebody may be receiving some earrings. Some like this possibly even. These are like diamond uh, hoop type. I don't know. Maybe somebody will be receiving some of those. Possibly for the holidays, you know. Alright, this is the one I saw. I didn't like it. Somebody, you know, please be careful driving out there. Because somebody may get into an accident. Um, make sure, you know, don't drink and drive, pay attention, don't text, right? You don't need to text. Do the Bluetooth to the phone. You can do that too. Oh, well, if you have a newer car, but just be careful driving. And it looks like this is a daytime accident. You see that? So, you know, be careful. You know, during the holidays, there's a lot of accidents. So, you know, somebody might be driving, uh north uh for the holidays maybe your families live up north uh okay we have somebody that's very competitive somebody could be into running <clears throat> we also have okay of course this is obvious some families are going to be traveling you know for the holidays so i think that's what's going on here some families might be traveling from cooler climates towards warmer climates is what i'm feeling Okay, we have some gardeners out there, herbalists, something like that. Okay, and finally, we have uh, some uh, depression. Somebody's, uh, well, not somebody, possibly a lot of people. I'm getting a uh, seasonal affective disorder, right? The type of depression that comes along when you, um, during the holidays. So I'm feeling that there might be some of you out there who are feeling that, okay? And, you know, I feel you on that, too, you guys. I really do. All right, because I, I kind of have that myself. Okay? <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and find out. That was a lot that came out, you know. But, you know, just, you know, the main one here, careful with the driving part. If you're going to be driving or visiting family and stuff, can you please do me a favor? Be extra careful. I'm just, you know, you don't have to do it, but please. <laughs> right? 
Um, let's find out what the general energy is for this extra, extra. Read all about it for December 15th, 2020. December 15th, 2020. General energy is. All right. The Wheel of Fortune, the Karmic Wheel of Destiny, okay? And, you know, I already can see there's one thing that could cause karma problem, right? A problem with the car, the car accident, okay? Be careful. Pay attention to when you're driving, okay? And even me, you know, I tend to look at the phone sometimes too, and I really, really and you know what? You want to know something crazy? If I touch the phone while I'm driving, I swear Brian's like, Arr! Like, he's trying to tell me, don't do that. And he's just a puppy. No, I think just dogs, they don't like when their they're, uh, companions are on the phone. They don't like that. I saw it in a video. Yeah. But anyways, shouldn't be doing that anyways, right? So we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, which way is that wheel turning for somebody out there? I don't know. Forward, backwards, is it staying? Are we repeating cycles? Oh, no. Yeah, well, let's find out. I, I have a feeling that cycles are coming to an end. That's just my, uh, you know, my feeling. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> let's see if I can get, like, two more. I want two more, please. For this extra, extra read all about it for December. 15, 2020, December 15, 2020. All right, so let's put these here to the side real quick because, um, you know, this is not all of them, but we can get a good start here. All right. Front and center issue is a union, a marriage, okay? There's a problem in somebody's home with a marriage. There's a, or some union or something like that, I think. That's just what's being pointed out to me right now. I Okay, let's keep moving here. Let's start from the beginning. Story starts out with two lovers, right? But there's heartbreak between those lovers. There's burdens there. Um, I do see that, so, that these two may be trying to work throughout, through these burdens, but it, I think it's just too much, and the tower moment comes in right there could have been a, a marriage here that somebody uh, is definitely heartbroken and and burdensome over this relationship um king of swords bringing in the truth got to tell you the truth about something you know the king of swords is burdened right about a marriage and it's a three-party situation and somebody's going to need to tell a lover that it's over, I think. That they are not wanting to work on this anymore, I think. Yeah, see, I told you. I told you things were ending. Okay. And the reason why that they want this over is because of the fact that there's three-party situations. Too much interference. Possibly somebody stepping outside the relationship. Right? And the burden has been stacked up also, too. I see here that... Somebody is stepping outside the relationship and somebody is carrying the bulk of the relationship on their shoulders, like, you know, doing all the work, be, do, just doing the most, doing everything in the household, cleaning, cooking, working, just doing everything. And, and I think that somebody is tired of that, that they're not, uh, you know, being assisted by, you know, whoever they're, you know, matched up with, right? Yeah. So, I mean, the marriage, it looks like it's still going, though, and somebody is carrying the burden, but there's going to be some, some kind of word that comes in about something here. Let's see what happens. Let's get three cards. Did I just see a card that was... Okay. There was a card flipped over that I didn't catch, but it's got to go it'd be as the next card, you know? Ooh, must have flipped over during the shuffle, but look at that. Got the Queen of Rods here. Third party in this situation could be the Queen of Rods, or a Queen of Rods is somewhere in this equation. You know what I'm saying? And it's the reason uh, of the Tower moment, possible ending of a relationship. I don't know. I don't. Oh, shit. 
shoot, I see it, I see it. Okay, you guys, here's a story. Here's a story. <clears throat> There's two lovers here, right? And one of them put an end to their lover situation, and it was the Queen of Rods, I think, okay? I think, okay? She was part of, you know, between two lovers, she was one of them, you know? But an ending came, and I think she was the one that brought the ending, which caused heartbreak in someone who was who was married, right? She ended a relationship with somebody who was married. And the and this person is carrying a burden about that situation. And I think it might be because that person really likes, you know, the Queen of Rods a lot. But this person is married. This is the problem. So that's where the third party situation comes in. She didn't ask to be in it. She was sneaky style put in there, slipped in unknowing right I think this person who's carrying this burden of this secret is this king of swords but he's going to I feel like he's going to be speaking out or saying I don't know I don't know you guys see I knew it he's going to be speaking out about it you see we have the knight of swords just came out so he is, he's going to be speaking out about this. You know, that was creepy, wasn't it? <laughs> you guys, I felt like it was. About how before this card flipped out, I was like, he's going to speak out about it. Then boom, Knight of Swords, right? Creepy as fuck, you guys. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I'm, you know, it's cool, whatever. You know, it's all good. We're all safe. Everybody's safe. Don't worry. It's just creepy, that's all. Right. <laughs> so anyways, this uh, King of Swords is coming in with a message about ma about somebody, about being married maybe, about carrying this burden that they're, they're married. Uh, they might be bringing that to this Queen of Rods. Okay. Either that or they might tell this Queen of Rods if this is a different, you know, if this is not one of the lovers, if this is another, you know, if this is the one they're married to, right? Um they might be saying that the marriage is too much of a burden and um it's too much work and they might let it go that's another story beyond that the first story now, there's like two or three stories in there now right kind of yeah let's see the, the two lovers one separate okay yeah that's like three stories already <clears throat> let's get the final card And you know, you guys can just always rewind if you didn't catch it. You know, it comes out, the, the messages come out like it's blurted. I just, I can't, I have no control over the thoughts. And I and I want to make sure the message gets out. So I really do speak whatever I, whatever message I get uh, mentally. I really do. Okay, Ace of Cups. There's no new start here, right? And the main thing, reason why is because someone's married. They're going to, they're going to, so the one, the one thing was that they are going to speak up about how the marriage is a burden and that they don't want to work on it, right? Or, but they're going to try to work on it, sorry. And then um, they're going to speak this to this queen of rods, right? Or um, they're telling this queen of rods they don't want to work on it, you know, they want to maybe work on their, themselves, they might tell, speak that truth too, right? Um, or they're going to say to this queen of rods that it's over and, you know, I'm heartbroken over a lover, right? So finally here in the end, there's no love here. There's no love here. All those stories are like somebody saying, sorry, I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to, sorry, I'm not going to. Just different situations, really. There's no new start in love here. I happen to think that somebody might be in a marriage that's very burdensome and they are heartbroken over the loss of someone because I think of the lover has ended a relationship because they didn't want to be in, in a third party. Uh, somebody figured out, uh, it could be a fire sign, right? Figured out that somebody was married and this caused a burden. Yeah. So, you know, the truth is, is that this queen of rods 
is telling this knight of swords to go send back the message that I don't want love from this person because I know that they're married plain and simple All right if that's if anybody's sending a message you know receiving or sending a message I think the queen of rods will be sending a message to the king of swords that no I'm not doing it I'm not having it you're married and I don't want to be involved in that mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen and if they're not married I still don't see an ending in love you know because there is a third party situation it could be meddling family members I don't want to you know move forward with you I don't want to marry with you because I don't get along with your family we have different you know you know because this person's family could be toxic for all she knows or maybe she does already know you know that's you know whoever you marry you marry their whole family so maybe she knows this person's family and doesn't want to <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm serious so you know it all depends on how the spouse is though I mean if anybody married me they don't gotta marry my whole family because I don't be near my whole family so it's they don't have to worry about it I love my family from afar you know look what's at the bottom of the deck mm -hmm. there's a secret about a soulmate see look at that somebody's keeping a secret about a soulmate a soulmate that they just cannot let go of somebody that's where the lovers card is you see we don't see who these two lovers are but we do see that there's a king of swords and a queen of rods and there's no love between them they might be the ones married where this does or they're in a loveless relationship and the third party is the lover is a soulmate somebody might be keeping that a secret you see that here can't let go of this person this person is waiting just waiting to speak to this person king of cups could be the one king of cups wants to work it out very defensive arguing with others see this might be a family situation you guys having to argue with the family well i love this person well we don't like that person or you know you know what i mean something like that but that person is this other person's longevity forever person and somebody's got to make a choice and i'm stopping right there you know don't focus on this stuff right focus on this because things here can change at a moment's notice and then this whole sh all of this doesn't even matter anymore because <clears throat> somebody made a move here right so let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's find out, uh, you know, what comes out here. It's like a tear of the heart what comes out. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, somebody definitely is going to have to heal after this tower moment comes in for sure, right? <clears throat> number 17 reduces down to the number 8. All right, that could resonate with somebody out there. They could have been born on the eighth month, eighth uh, life path number. <clears throat> Something could happen in eight days, eight months. Something has been happening over the past eight years. Who knows, right? <clears throat> you got to pick your own resonation, <laughs> right? Is that even prop? Did I say that properly? I don't think so, but whatever. <laughs> Can't be perfect all the time, right? Actually, no one can be, except for, you know, Almighty, right? Just saying. We get another couple cards here for the uh, collective for this extra, extra. Read all about it for December 15th, 2020. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see what these are. Sadness and isolation. So yeah, somebody's going to be going through some healing and some sadness and isolation, depression, because, you know, they may have thought that this was going to work out, that this situation was going to work out. It's not. It was a burden. It was kind of like, um, it was kind of like wasted efforts. You know what I mean? Had a lot of wasted efforts here. They tried. They tried. It didn't work. But it's okay. I mean, it. Depending on what the situation is, you know, you learn something off it. You pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you keep on going. That's all you can do. You know, yeah, it's okay. You can dwell on, be sad for a little bit, but don't let that uh, take over your life. 
the sadness in the dwelling, right? Awaiting results. So somebody actually, somebody actually might be awaiting some sort of results to come, maybe for this ending, or whether or not they can move towards some someone and work something out with them is what I'm getting. I don't know. That's one thing. Reach out. Yep, somebody's going to have to reach out. They might have to reach out to this Queen of Rods if she's not the one they're married to and she is somebody on the side or whatever. Uh, somebody's going to have to reach out, you know, speak about something because there's a problem in a relationship, right? Those people are not going to stay together because it's burdensome, right? Now, I don't know who the Queen of Rods is involved in that, right? This could be a spouse or it could be the other person, the other girl, right? Or the other guy, whatever, you know? So you have to pick your spot here in this story. But I do see that whoever is separating from a, like a, 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 a real relationship, like a union, like a marriage or something like that, or a longstanding com commitment, you know, it's going to end. And somebody's going to need healing after that. They're going to need the sadness and isolation. And then possibly they're going to be awaiting results to see the status of another individual, right? Uh, best thing to do, though, is to reach out. <clears throat> and it might be this Queen of Rods <clears throat> needing to reach out or somebody needs to reach out to the Queen of Rods and be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> right? I mean, I guess, you know, like, well, what are you up to? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's usually like the first thing I say to people that if I if they call and I haven't heard from them, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I always say that, you know? I don't know why I say that. Okay, rest and reconsider, okay? So you may have thought about reaching out. Somebody may have thought about reaching out. And they're like, no, no, I'm not, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, you know, you need to rest and reconsider because uh, I think this might be uh, your forward movement on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so whoever that resonates with. Yeah, it actually it is. Look, because you're coming to an end of a cycle. Okay, once you put that end behind you and you gain the courage up to reach out, that Wheel of Fortune will turn for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also the Ten of Pentacles, you know, in other decks. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, look. Three and seven, that's ten. That's an ending of a cycle right there. Once you you uh, you know, go through that sadness and isolation, once you um, get whatever results you need or whatever information you need to find out, you need to reach out. Mm -hmm. Look, seven and three again is a ten. So you're ending cycles or somebody here, I don't know who, somebody here is ending cycles. I need one more card. Let me just see one more card. Ending some of cycles and starting new ones, you know, things that, you know, that you know where, which direction you should be going, you know. And if you don't know exactly where, just at least know that, just stay positive and just go with the flow with what it's like, kind of like whatever comes out next, right? Yeah. Just follow the flow of, of positivity of where the happiness lies, right? Yeah. You see that? Once you reach out, once you're able to reach out, uh, you know, after rest and recovery from isolation and awaiting some sort of results, yeah, see, once you rest and reconsider uh, and you do reach out, the bonds between you and someone, I don't know who, you know who, but you and somebody will, um, your bonds will strengthen, okay? So whoever is needing to heal here is the one who is also needing to reach out to their lover which i don't know who the lover is here it could be this queen of, of wands but there's like two real lovers here like real lovers because whoever was married before those are not the real lovers they were just like i don't know they did it out of Irrash, irrational decision making but the, these lovers are the real lovers these are the ones who really love each other and um, I don't know where you the viewer is falling in into what category you are because there's like a, there's definitely three people here there's a married couple and an extra an extra person 
So <clears throat> that's what I have for you guys. Um, hopefully you got some sort of um, clarity for your situation in this. I don't know, you know. Um, it seems kind of, you know, like a typical, you know, couple though not getting along why because somebody stepped out of marriage they fell in love with somebody or they were in love with somebody i don't know so you know like that love story stuff um yeah so oh i'm seeing 25 25 so that's all also seven seven which uh you know is spirits number so this is uh for someone out there divinely guided situation for you that you have to go through this okay that's just giving me that confirmation all right you guys so um if you like this don't forget to subscribe like comment and share um also keep it true love energy happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful and i did see 25 55 also so there are going to be some changes coming along here soon and uh yeah i'm mona this is kaleidoscope dreams tarot and i'll speak to you guys next time bye